Hi folks, welcome or welcome back. This is Joe Heck, K1 LBG, as opposed to the senator or whoever he is that is also Joe Heck or Joseph Heck. So I used my call sign. Uh, today we are trying a new device. Uh, instead of trying to hold my camera steady and using the anti-shake and all that, I'm going to use a gimbal mount that was recommended by another YouTuber. And I'm going to show you that and give you a brief update of where I am. This is the Smart X Pro. One person really liked it and it had a few other good reviews so I thought I'd try it. Now the interesting part is the list price is hundred and forty dollars basically but I said oh why not try one of the online alley somethings which I did and some of their sellers have horrible web pages. I thought I had ordered a Smart X Pro. What I got was the Smart X, even though their description said Smart X Pro. Well, apparently, under color, if you select color, you can select the model being a Smart X or Smart X Pro. But their main description didn't say anything about being a Smart X. And after going back and forth with them and getting nowhere, I simply returned the product. Um, so Ali something uh, has a free return, basically no questions asked, on one item per purchase. So I sent it back and then spent a fair amount of time looking through several of the other sellers' websites. And even though I found some for less money than what I paid here, I could not tell if, in fact, I was getting what I thought I was going to get. And there was no contact seller. There was no uh, check here for further description, no FAQs. So I ended up spending a little extra money on a website that I was pretty certain I was going to get what I thought I was getting. Now, the only problem is the manual, since this came from China, the manual's in Chinese. Well, it's certainly not English. I can't say definitely it's Chinese. So I went online to their website, and I could not find a manual online. So I had to go, of course, to a third-party site, um, something similar to Manuals Lib, and there is a manual. So I am now at that point of trying to figure out how to use this thing supposed to be simple, but apparently um, I don't, uh, I don't uh, rate in today's computer world of being simple, I guess. So here we are. I've just unpacked it. And, uh, you know, it looks pretty slick. Of course it should. It was well packed. Um, delivery was a little crazy. Uh, I'm I'm a thousand feet off the road, can't see the road from where I live. And 6.30 at night, they hung this in a plastic bag on my mailbox out on the road. Uh, didn't see it till the next day. So I, you've got to be careful, I guess. That can happen even with U.S. companies shipping. But it's been a bit of an issue just getting to this point. So now I'm getting ready to download an app and see if it works on my old phone. So stay tuned. Um, if this all goes well, we're going to jump right into another video on installing a dash cam. Okay, a few minutes later, and not surprising, uh, I tried to go to the Play Store. Now I am using an old Galaxy S5 as my camera seemed like a reasonable thing to do. Uh, no SIM card, so I only have Wi-Fi. Couldn't get the Play Store to come up, so I had to go to Chrome and then select the 
download and say I wanted to install it and I got to the Play Store through Chrome which was interesting and was promptly told that the app was not compatible with my phone so I guess I'm not going to use any of those features which I don't even know what they are yet because it said you could go to YouTube and follow their tutorial and the first one that came up was not a tutorial it was a sales blurb so I'm now ready to start looking at the tutorial and uh, figure out what all the buttons are uh, maybe this is more gimbal than I need but I'll keep you uh, informed back again well the beginners tutorial wasn't terribly helpful and it said oh just scan this QR code to get the manual well I scanned the QR code and it wants me to download the app which doesn't help so um, I guess I'm gonna fight through it and figure out what the buttons are by trial and error <laughs> we'll see well without the app the gimbal has less than optimal usage although it's it is good it's going to stabilize it it's pretty interesting uh, when you start playing with it the different modes I haven't quite figured out yet but uh, the very fact that I can hold it and it will shake less and if I need to I can move it with the with the buttons for the axis that's kind of neat uh, so if I put it on a stand it will work pretty well because now you can adjust it with the joystick to the angle that you need so I think that's going to work out okay um, the time will tell uh, and you know it's pretty interesting I don't know I guess it won't work with something like a a GoPro uh, it's made specifically for either an iPhone or an Android I could check my Galaxy S7, but I'm not so sure it'll clip in that well because I have a Pelican case on the Galaxy, so it may not clip in very well. Um, so we'll, we'll see about that. So that's about it, I think. This is a, this will be a relatively, I'm shaking this back and forth to see how the follow me this is F for full follow, I guess. So it works pretty well. I think that's going to be it. Um, you know, for 60 bucks, 65 bucks, I guess. Uh, what can you expect? Um, as I'm moving around, I'm looking to see if it's going to follow. And it does a pretty good job or twist the handle so um, yeah I'd say it, it, it it's worth it uh, knowing the limitations I'm also rotating the handle and it uh, jumps a little from that but it seems to be working pretty well so all in all I'm gonna say for what I need it's probably more than sufficient and uh, We'll give it a thumbs up, I guess. So this was the SmartX Pro. No sponsor, of course. I paid the money for it. So thanks for watching. Uh, hope you like this. It's quick. It's not fabrication. It's not working on things. It's a, it's, it's a review, I guess, really. Um, this will become a tool for me to use. And... Uh, you know, if you like it, thumbs up it, dislike it, thumbs down, give me a comment, share, subscribe, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, if you dislike it, if you give me a thumbs down, uh, give me an idea how I can make it better. So, again, thanks for watching and uh, on to the next project, which is going to be installing a dash cam.